Sinking in three, two, one. Sink on Aquaman. Okay. What is going on, guys? My name is Anthony, or The Great Adventure Geek, and today we're going to be trying something a little different. Today we're going to make a Six Flags roller coaster tier maker. So this tier list was put together, and we're just going to go through and rank the certain rides based on what I think. Uh, before we start, I have not ridden all of these rides. I would say I've ridden maybe half of them, a little less. So we will see. Uh, no script. Let's just get going. So first... Let's just go through some rides. We'll go by park. So, Bizarro or Medusa at Great Adventure. We'll start with my home park. Uh, Medusa is a very good ride. Uh, I would say it's definitely one of my favorite floorlesses. Kraken, very good. Biz Biz I'm just going to call it Bizarro, just what I know. But Bizarro, it's good, but you know, it does have a little bit of a rattle. You do notice the rattle. But I think the layout's strong. I think that it's a very strong B-tier ride. Well, this one's going right to S. There's no explanation needed. El Toro is one of the greatest coasters on the planet. It For, for sure. There's nothing else that needs to be said. Hmm. So Batman the Ride, the invert. Sometimes it rides like an A. It really does ride like an A sometimes. I'm going to start it higher up in B. But as we go through, maybe I'll change that. The thing is whippy. The inversions are fantastic. It doesn't have the height or speed of something like maybe Alpengeist, but it delivers in the intense elements like those inversions. So we'll keep it there for now. Let's see, oh boy, Runaway Mine Train. If, if, you, if you don't brace the joltiness that you get on some of those turns, you gotta watch out. It's a fun layout. It's a park classic. D for now. Hmm, what else do we got here? What's this? Dark Knight Coaster? It's a wild mouse. You can't... Can't put it any higher. It's just a wild... I, I might actually put it lower. No, no. Because they did do something unique with the theming, so... You gotta give them credit. So, there's that's where Dark Knight goes. Right with Runaway Mine Train. King Da Ka. King Da Ka. A tier, I mean... It's not too often you see a ride like King Ka and, you know, Ka Dragster, which one is better. With King Ka, you get just as much as the package as Dragster. Dragster has the, not not the over sh the shoulder restraint, so it's a little different, but King Ka to me, it's almost just as good. I do prefer Dragster, but King Ka is a top-of-the-line roller coaster. Where else are you going to get that heightened speed? Nowhere. Nowhere else. Nitro. Again, I, I think Nitro is right in A tier, and that's for the majority of B&M hypers in the country, maybe with the exception of Apollo. I think they're all fantastic rides. Again, the floater, you know, you have the height, you have the speed. It's a good ride for everyone. It's a lot of fun, all hypers. What else we got here? We have Jersey Devil Coaster. This is a tough one for me, whether you put it in high B or low A. Jersey Devil is one of those streaky rides that runs either really good or really bad. So, I mean, like in the mornings, you might not have a good ride, but I've had some good rides. You know, holiday in the park, nighttime, things been hauling. So, I'm going to put it low A for now. Anything else at Great Adventure? Oh, here we go. Superman Ultimate Flight. So, the funny thing about Superman Ultimate Flight is that I prefer the one at Over Georgia, which I've ridden. The thing works with the terrain. The one at Great Adventures right in the parking lot. I, at least they put grass over it. But it's right in a former parking lot. I, it, It's going to go and be with the rest of the B&Ms. I think the B&Ms are kind of looped together. Batman, I think, is on the upper echelon. I think it's significantly, not significantly, but it's above the rest of the B&Ms besides the Hypers. The flyers, I say, are more towards the bottom. I don't think they offer that great of a ride experience, but that's just me. Skull Mountain. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Skull Mountain. Back row, it's seats here. That drop, it's better than a few drops already on the list. Like, I don't know. Batman, Bizarro, Superman. Don't tell anyone. Jersey Devil. <laughs> but... Skull Mountain, it's, if you ride that thing back row, there's a few pretty crazy moments. So I might move that down, but it's 
unironically, I don't think it's too far behind Superman. Com- completely unironically. Green Lantern. I, again, you, you get the intensity. Superman, the pretzel loop is fun. You know, it is a fun drop when you first, you know, your first initial look at what a flying coaster is like. But Green Lantern has those forces, the intensity, great inversions. If you know how to ride a stand-up, you'll have a great time on Green Lantern. And I believe that is it for the Great Adventure rides. Yeah, so let's move on to, I'll just pick and choose some. Here, let's get uh, Firebird out of the way at Six Flags America. Firebird to me is, again, right in C tier. It's a B&M. How bad can a B&M be? This is a prime example. It's it's obviously a very middle, middle of the ground layout because it was a stand-up well, apocalypse, which I've ridden. It's just Firebird really doesn't do anything for me. It's it's rough. It's cool colors. It's all I that's all I have to say about it. Skull Mountain's better. Uh speaking of stand-up coasters, since Firebird was a stand-up, Georgia Scorcher? Right? Mm. I had a really good time on Georgia Scorcher. A little rough, so I think Superman, especially the one at over Georgia, might be a little better than it. But they're right neck and neck. It doesn't have the length that you do get with Green Lantern. Hmm. Yeah, I want to focus on rides that I've ridden first. So yeah, so let's go with another ride at over Georgia. Daredevil Dive. Uh, Six Flags Euro Fighter. You don't see that often. I mean, it's all right. Euro Fighters, I think, are not the greatest rides. I think the ones that do something unique, like Mystery Mine, are a little better. But, you know... Something like Hydrus at Casino Pier. It's just, it's as cookie cutter as it gets. Daredevil Dive's a little bigger, a little taller, but it's not as smooth, so. <sighs> right at the end of B. I just, I don't think it does anything too special, and I think you're getting a much better ride experience on Georgia Scorcher. And while we're at, while we're at Six Flags over Georgia, Goliath going right in that A tier. Goliath is just a fun ride to ride. You get the floater, but you also, it has a unique layout. So it's not like Nitro where it's all, you know, floater hill, floater hill. It does some meandering around the park, some sharp turns. I really like the helix on Goliath. I like how the drop's kind of right in the middle of the park. It's just a fun ride. And in my opinion, should be the best B&M hyper on this list as far as that I've ridden. It just does stuff that the other B&M hypers just don't do. Oh, uh, look, another Goliath. This is another one that I've ridden at Magic Mountain. Uh, it's. I don't know where to place this ride, honestly. It, it has the height, it has the speed, but seriously speaking, I, I, I think it leads off seats here. I didn't find anything fun about this ride. I, you know, it's big, it's tall, it, it's fast, and I, you know, the Helix is kind of fun, but I mean, other than that, you're. It's really just a glorified mine train. I think that you can get a more fun experience if you're having a good time on the runaway mine train than Goliath. You got to give it a little bit of credit for its speed, for its height, but I, I don't find it that enjoyable. Not not as enjoyable as anything in B tier from what I have ridden. Oh, look at this. Another Goliath. Yeah, this one isn't so fun. I heard that when it was at at Magic Mountain is deja vu before it came to New England that it ran a lot better. And again, before they put the Gerslauer trains, I believe, on it, it ran significantly better. But I mean, I mean, when I rode this thing at Six Flags New England, I think 2016, the thing was running rough. Better than the traditional boomerang just because, you know, bigger, again, something like Goliath, when it's bigger and faster, sometimes it feels a lot more extreme, a lot bigger. I, I, how many times am I going to say bigger? But the thing is... Ru- the boomerangs, I don't think, are as rough as this. I still prefer something like the giant inverted boomerang model, but it's a rough ride. It's nothing nothing to write home about. What do we got? Another Goliath? We'll skip to the rides I haven't ridden later. It's going alphabetical. I didn't get on Apocalypse at Magic Mountain, unfortunately. Would have liked to get on that. What do we have? Another Batman the Ride, looks like. Oh, you know what that is? That is Batman the Dark Knight at Six Flags New England. (sighs) This is... Mm. 
This is a tough one because Batman the Dark Knight, it's better than Firebird because it's, it's smoother. It has a better layout because it wasn't a stand-up. But it's still, I think, the lower, lower end of the floorless coasters. It's, it doesn't do anything that special. It's an older ride. So that's where Batman the Dark Knight in New England is. Batwing. Where are we going to put Batwing? Hmm. Right, I think Batwing goes... Right behind Superman Ultimate Flight. these The Flying Dutchman are fun. And my favorite this is an unpopular opinion. I really like Nighthawk at Carowinds. But that's not going to be on this list. I believe I like Nighthawk better than Superman. But Batwing, you know, a little bit of roughness issues. But, you know, same layout and stuff. I know Nighthawk is a little different. You know, Batwing's a fun ride. It's fun to have the flying coaster, you know, traditional. But with the, it's a twist because you start differently. So... In some ways, I prefer the Vacoma Flying Dutchman to the B&M Flyers. It's just, I just think it's a more engaging ride where the B&M Flyer kind of just meanders around. I feel like the Vacoma kind of gives you a little more force, which is what I look for in a ride. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Full throttle at Magic Mountain. This is totally a B-tier ride. Uh, full throttle is a lot of fun. I would probably go as far as saying that it's probably right, right behind Batman. You're not getting the full package with full throttle. Uh, uh, ironically, you're not getting the full package, but the launch is a lot of fun. I love going through the tunnel where you launch backwards. Yep, 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 where you launch. Uh, and I love going through that giant loop. I don't think you feel the loop. You know, it's a giant loop. I don't think it's any better than any of the other loops that you see, like on something like a floorless. But yeah, full throttle, fun launch, good rod. Uh, very, very solid rod. See, oh yeah, I almost forgot about this one. Blue Hawk it over Georgia. Not as bad as I thought it would be. That still doesn't make it great. Uh, I I have a soft spot for, for you know, the older rides, but I just didn't have that great of a time on it. It was, you know, again, very middle of the ground. It wasn't that rough. It wasn't that bad, but it doesn't do that much great either. So that's where I'm going to put Blue Hawk at over Georgia. What else do we have here? Gotham City Gauntlet. Slightly worse than Dark Knight. It's outside. Just a wild mouse, nothing else. Joker's Jinx. This is my personal favorite of the Flight of Fear models. I've ridden Flight of Fear at King's Dominion. This one is just... I find it a lot better. Uh, I don't know if it's just me, but Joker's Jinx... Probably right... Uh, Probably right near Batwing. I'm going to place it behind for now just because my last ride on Joker's Jinx was a little rough where Batwing, I feel like, is a little bit, uh, was a little smoother actually than Joker's Jinx. Uh, again, Joker's Jinx, you're really just relying on, you're not getting crazy airtime or anything. It's just, it's a vic, it's an old, it's an old style launch and you're just going, a couple inversions, just twisting around the spaghetti bowl. Nothing revolutionary, but. It's a fun ride, fun launch. Let's see. Hmm. Mind Eraser. So I'm guessing this is the one at Six Flags America. Nothing else needs to be said. I'm not a Mind Eraser fan. I remember when I first rode it in um, 2016, I just remember getting off and having such a headache at that thing. It was like, I, I won't be forgetting that. Raging Cajun? Yeah, I mean, it's it's probably right with Dark Knight, like the indoor Dark Knight models at uh, Great America and Great Adventure. It's it's good, and it spins as the extra edge. It's smoother than something like a mine train, so you do get that. Oh, so here we have Riddler at New England, the SLC. Riddler at New England is significantly better than Mind Eraser. It's not my favorite SLC. That's going to be Great Nor'easter at Maury's Piers in uh, Wildwood, New Jersey. But it, 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 it's, it's, it's a lot better. It actually, I, it's probably better than Goliath. I think it's better than Firebird. And I do think it's better than Skull Mountain. So we're going to put it right around here with Blue Hawk. The SLCs, it can be a strong layout with some good G-forces. But it's just the track roughness makes it sometimes unbearable. So I didn't, unfortunately, get on Riddler's Revenge at Magic Mountain. Roar at Six Flags America, I have been on. 
I'm sorry, Roar, but I used to like Roar quite a bit when I was a little younger, but rewriting it, it's like, I don't get the appeal of it. And that goes for a lot of the old school GCIs. I just don't, it'd be a really good candidate for the RMC, like Joker at Discovery Kingdom, not the best RMC, but it's better than whatever this is. So, you know, it's, it's a wooden coaster, so I'll put it, I'll throw it in C. It's all right. It's a wooden coast, classic wooden coaster, classic GCI. So that's what it is. Uh, I see we have a bunch of the Supermans in a row, but first we have Scream. I think Bizarro or Medusa's theming adds so much to it. I also thought it was smoother and it's more in the woods while Scream's in the parking lot. That's enough to knock Scream, in my opinion, down to here. It, it's just, it's a, it's the mirror image of Medusa at Great Event, Medusa Bizarro at Great Adventure. It does, every, it's newer, you would think it'd be better. It does every single thing worse. It's just, it's not better at all. There's no, not one time I would rather ride Scream over Bizarro or Medusa. Not one time I would, I would ride it over it. No reason to ride it. Uh, Superman Krypton Coaster. This is a weird one because, you know, you get the fast launch, you get the tall height, but as opposed to something like King Ka, the ride doesn't do anything. So this is a very tough one to rank because, you know, you, you get this crazy launch, you know, crazy height, but it's not, it's not the complete circuit. So it's, it's, it's a hard one to rank. I think I'm going to throw it mm, like full throttle. You're getting more at, you know, not as tall, not as fast. You're getting more out of it. Superman, you launch, you go up, you come back down. <sighs> you know, it's more intense than something like Joker's Jinx. It's, I would say it's better than Scream. I would say it's better than Bat... Mm, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'd rather ride. I'm going to probably put Krypton Coaster about right there. I just think I'd rather ride a complete circuit and have a full ride than... Superman, but that's just me. Some people might like the launch and speed. They might have it as their number one. That's okay. This is just my list. Oh, Superman, the ride at New England. So I'm going to put it at A tier, about bottom, very bottom of A tier. Every time I ride this ride, it just gets worse and worse for me. And it sucks because the layout is perfect. And you've seen that when, you know, in enthusiast, not enthusiast, but like golden ticket awards, when it was Bizarro in the original Superman in New England, it was voted the best roller coaster on earth, beating something like Millennium Force. It's before they changed out the restraints. I know they had a terrible accident there, which kind of forced them to, but great layout. And I've had a lot of fun on it. I love the tunnels. I love the twister section. If they put new restraints, maybe some new trains on this thing, you could be looking at this going right into S tier. But for now, we'll keep it at A. Tatsu. Tatsu takes the flying coaster, and we're going to put that actually right in the bottom of A. Tatsu takes everything good about the flying coaster, puts it in a better setting, makes it taller, makes it faster, makes it a complete experience. Flying through the woods on Tatsu is awesome. Great forces, very fun pretzel loop. It's, it's in my opinion, the perfect flying coaster. That and Manta at SeaWorld Orlando. <sighs> Yeah, I didn't get on Riddler Mindbender at uh, over Georgia, unfortunately. Thunderbolt at New England. Thunderbolt's a fun little wooden coaster. I mean, I wouldn't call it anything special. It's a family ride. I'd probably lead off D tier with it. It's rough. It doesn't really do anything. It's just a classic. Nothing wrong with it, but that's where it, just where it's going to go. Hmm. What do we have here? Oh, down here. We have some good ones coming up. X2 at Magic Mountain. It's going to S tier. With the on-ride audio, all the effects, and the insane ride experience. Like, you thought Joker, uh, you know, the 40 free flies were crazy. Try doing that over an entire layout. You know, you have, whatever, Metallica playing on your ear on the lift hill. One of the most insane ride experiences ever. And... There's nothing. You, you got to ride X2 to experience it. A POV doesn't do any justice. You got to be there and ride X2. You won't regret it. Well, we're down here. What do we have? Wicked Cyclone. This is another ride that's going to go up to S tier. Wicked Cyclone 
It doesn't let up for a second. Good air, fun inversions. You're going to be out of your seat. It's not no floater. It's aggressive ejector. It, it's it's another RMC masterpiece. I'm not the biggest fan of RMCs, but you got to appreciate them. And Wicked Cyclone is one of those very good ones. Mm, Viper at Magic Mountain. So I always wanted to ride Great American Scream Machine at Great Adventure. And unfortunately, I never got the chance to do that. So Viper, I thought it, I thought it was a lot of fun, actually. Again, I... Better than some of these, you know, big like Goliath and Firebird. I think it's better than those. Probably better than Skull Mountain. Probably better than Riddler, Blue Hawk. Unpopular opinion. I have Viper very high for an old school era. Very solid ride. You know what? It's better than Dark Knight. I had a lot more fun. Batman Dark Knight in New England doesn't do anything. I never go out of my way to ride that. If I go back to Magic Mountain, I'll be riding Viper again. Ah, Twisted Cyclone. This is another this is another S tier ride. Twisted Cyclone is a it's Wicked Cyclone, a little smaller, but it packs just as big of a punch. Which is why I'm gonna put another RMC. This is a really unpopular opinion. I have Twisted Cyclone above Twisted Colossus. I just think in the little space that Twisted Cyclone has, it does such an incredible job with its layout. It you know the wave turn. I love the little uh little cobra roll kind of you do after the drop the drop itself is very good there's not one dull part of the ride as opposed to twisted colossus i was very under now don't get me wrong still an s tier ride we're talking the end of s tier but twisted colossus still an s tier ride but probably the end area of s tier it's fun you know a long ride Good air, fun drop, fun inversions, especially when you're dueling. I got a couple dueling rides, so I know what it's like. I just don't think that it's that. I didn't think it... The thing with the other two RMCs, like Wicked Cyclone, Twisted Cyclone, they, I, don't, I feel like they never let up. As opposed to something like Twisted Colossus, there were some parts, some turns, some hills where I didn't get air, or it, I felt like the speed let up for a second. As opposed to something with the other two where I felt like it didn't let up. But the pro with Twisted Colossus is that you get to go around twice with the uh, Mobius Loop attract, with the Mobius Loop uh, part of it. So, yeah, it's really up to personal preference. I prefer the other two RMCs that I've ridden personally. And with that, I believe that moves us all into coasters that I have not had the pleasure of riding. So, these are going to be, you know, my own opinion, but I haven't ridden them, so it's going to be tough to say. So, let's jump into those. So first, we have X-Flight over at Six Flags Great America. Again, it's a coaster that I haven't ridden, but I have ridden Gatekeeper at Cedar Point. You know, kind of same general experience. X-Flight, the thing with wing coasters in general, I don't think they're that crazy. You know, the gimmick is that you're on the side of the track. I don't think that it's that revolutionary, but they're still solid rides. I'd probably put X-Flight right around... I don't know, probably right around Green Lantern, that area. It's a fun B&M, nothing crazy, though. So we got Apocalypse at Magic Mountain. I wish I rode this ride. I heard that it's an all-right GCI. We'll throw it, uh, I've heard good things about it. Right at the back of Beats here. Throw it right above Joker's Jinx. Hmm. Let's get some RMCs out of the way. We got Iron Rattler. I've heard great things about Iron Rattler. Maybe it's not, you know, a relentless RMC, but you still get the awesome setting diving off that quarry wall. So I'm going to put Iron Rattler right at the end. Again, I haven't ridden it, so I'm not going to rank it ahead of the RMCs that I've ridden, but it's probably right about with them. Iron Rattler looks like an elite ride. No doubt about it. <sighs> so then we have, what is this? Joker at uh, Discovery Kingdom. Probably leading off A. From what I've seen, it's not weak by any means. But to say that it's better than any of the other RMCs in the Six Flags chain, I don't think you can say that. I don't think, from what it looks like, it's not a crazy ride experience. It's a very good one. You know, you're getting smooth. You're getting some ejector. You're getting the good inversions all packed into one. I don't think it's as crazy or has the defining elements that the other RMCs have. So that should bring us over to New Texas Giant. New Texas Giant is probably right with Joker. I heard that it gives some pretty good air, so I'm going to give it the edge to New Texas Giant, the original RMC. It's, you know, solid, solid ride. No inversions to work with, but 
it took everything from the te- from the original Texas Giant and plussed it. You're getting just a solid ride. No, no real gimmick. It's just steel track over a wooden support. Mm. So that's what you're getting with a good air, you know, intense ride. New Texas Giant looks very solid. And with that, it looks like we are done with the RMCs. Oh, I forgot a coaster that I've ridden. And we still have one more RMC to do. Let's do this one first. Wild one at Six Flags America. This pleasant surprise. This, this might actually make probably beats here. I Every time I ride Wild when I have a fun time. Best ride was uh, probably Holiday in the Park 2018. Rode this thing, you know, 25 degrees, 30 degrees or whatever. It's still hauling. It's it's a little rough, but the ride's over 100 years old. What are you going to do? I think it adds to the experience. As opposed to like a ride like Roar, I don't think it adds to it. Wild's one, I think it does. You're not going to get the strongest air, but you're riding something that... It's, it's pretty insane riding it like that. Some intense elements, good laterals. Throw it right around... Uh, right here, I think. I know there's a good placement. Hmm. What else do we have? West Coast Racers. Again, I haven't ridden it. It seems like a cool concept. It's a ride. Uh, I actually did a Planet Coaster version of it with uh, the Holiday Classic Snow Miser and Heat Miser. So that's up on the channel. It looks like a fun layout. I'm going to give it the nod for over in B tier. Right around Apocalypse. You know, right next to each other in the park. It looks like a lot of fun. Maybe not the most insane ride, but, you know, okay theming with the racing element. And you do get to uh, race duel, which I think adds to the experience quite a bit. <laughs> Aquaman Power Wave. Seriously speaking, I have no idea because no one's ever experienced one of these. So, I mean, I guess just because nobody's ridden it, we'll lead off C with it. I don't think it's anything that crazy. It really is kind of just like a... It's it's definitely a coaster. I'm not saying it's not a coaster, but it's, it's... I would say it's more of a water flat ride than a real roller coaster. I guess right around C for now. Nobody's ridden it. Oh, we forgot another RMC. Look at this. Uh, Goliath at Great America. Probably, again, leading off. I don't think Goliath makes the jump that Iron Rattler does in quality. You're getting that good zero-g stall. You know, again, tall, fast. Just on the on the height and speed alone and that zero-g roll. You know, that first hill that you go through, too. I think it does put it above New Texas Giant because you're getting those stronger individual moments, which I don't think Texas Giant has. Something like Texas Giant, you're taking the ride as a whole, where Goliath, you're taking a couple elements. Well... Without sure what the rod is, that's the entire rod, but that's where I'm putting Goliath. Let's see. So this looks like, uh, oh yeah, here we go. Before we do that, Wonder Woman at Fiesta Texas. The only Raptor that I've ridden is Jersey Devil Coaster, so, you know, it's a good ride, but Nothing too crazy. Not as crazy as these ones. This is probably S tier. I, I, it's really between this and Iron Rattler. I think I'm going to give the edge to Wonder Woman Golden Lasso. Wonder Woman Golden Lasso. An RMC, you know, it's crazy, but I want to call them out of control. Like something like, you know, I-305, X2. Those things are out of control. Wonder Woman Golden Lasso and Railblazer, for that fact, looks like it's one of those rides that's completely out of control. Uh, you know, not the longest ride experience, but it's something that I want to get on, especially because I don't think they're going to make one of these things ever again. Another RMC, we have Medusa Steel Coaster over at Six Flags Mexico. So yeah, it's probably one of those probably eight tier. I've heard some all right things about it, but I don't think it makes the jump that the other, uh, what do we have? Seven coasters up in S tier do. I don't think it makes the jump that those ones do. Uh, solid ride. Uh, Again, it's one of those rides, all the elements together kind of bring it up. But there's some cool twists and turns. It's just the typical RMC experience. Nothing bad about it. We have the boss at St. Louis. <laughs> I mean, it's the boss at St. Louis. You've heard, you know, everyone wants an RMC. It's rough. Some people really like it. It's some people's number one. 
I'm going to throw it right around, I guess, Scream and Apocalypse. We'll put it right there. That seems like a good placement. It's an all right ride, I'm sure. Here, we'll just knock out all the uh, St. Louis ones. What do we have? American Thunder. Oh, American Thunder actually doesn't have the stats that some of the other ones have. So we're going to throw American Thunder, actually. I think we're going to throw it right topping off seats. No, no, no. We'll throw it in B tier. It doesn't have the stats, but I heard that it's a little smoother than even the boss. So we'll throw it there for now. Uh, Diamondback. So this is uh, the former Lightning Loops, which is now at Oklahoma City. Very basic layout. Just that it's Lightning Loops at Great Adventure alone. I'm sorry, it's biased. It's going to go... Yeah, I'll... Batman the Dark Knight in New England is kind of like the benchmark for me. That loop I heard you get pretty good uh, G-Force on, pretty good intensity. But what people mainly talk about, the drop off the... I don't know what to call it. The station, the straight track that you go on before you go into the loop. You know, it's a shuttle coaster. I heard that in the back row, that at the airtime is legendary. So I'm going to put that right there. Let's knock out some ones fast. Speed round starting now. Superman Krypton Coaster. I heard that it's the best floorless. We're going to place that accordingly right above Bizarro. I don't think that'll be too controversial. We have Shockwave over Texas. Again, it's... You're getting the intensity. I don't think it'll be too controversial to put it somewhere like maybe right around Batwing. You know, you've heard you hear some good things, you hear some bad things, but the double loop, uh, pretty legendary. I missed a ride that I've ridden. New Revolution. You know, it's it's an alright ride. You kind of just meander around. Probably, honestly. Now, maybe it's a little better than the Skull Mountain just because of the historical significance. Something similar to uh, Super Duper Looper at uh, Hershey Park. I don't think the loop adds anything to the ride, but it's cool. Uh, cool. New Revolutions in the Woods. Pretty cool setting. You do that turnaround near the front of the park. What do we have? Ninja Magic Mountain. I didn't get to ride it, unfortunately. Suspended. I heard it sucks, but we'll throw it. Top of D. I'm not a fan of Iron Dragon at Cedar Point. Not a fan at all. I'm going to throw a Top of D. I just... From the suspended coast that I've ridden, not a fan. What do you have? Goliath at, I guess this is Goliath at Laronde. You know, you're still getting the floater airtime, but I don't think it makes the leap to A tier that the other hypers do. So for that reason, I'm going to throw... Hmm. Probably, you know, above... It's still a solid ride. I just don't think it takes the leap. You know, it, you know it's... 40 feet, 50 feet shorter than some of these other rides. You don't have the same speed. And it's, you know, cookie cutter. It's just hills. Doesn't really do too much. No standout elements on Goliath. Medusa at Discovery Kingdom. You know, probably right, right around the Bizarro area. You know, it seems fun. You have the vertical drop instead of the curve drop, which is something that most of the floorless coasters don't do. Seems like a great ride. Uh, this is Great American Scream Machine at Over Georgia. This ride gets a lot of hate. I had a lot of fun on it. I'm going to throw it right here behind Viper. Yep, above Viper. What is Aquaman doing here? Let's be, let's be realistic. That's much better. While we're here, we'll change something else up. That I bet's been bugging me a little bit. Uh, Nitro's probably better. Goliath is probably better than King Ka. King Ka's good, but... Uh, uh, that's probably a lot better. Okay. Steam and Demon at Great Escape. I heard this thing sucks. Moving on. Ninja, what is it? Ninja St. Louis? I heard this thing sucks. Moving on. Oh, this is... Uh... Okay, we'll start with this. So this is Tantrum at Darien Lake. You know, Eurofighter. Probably around the same line as Daredevil Dive, so we'll throw it there accordingly. <laughs> Viper at... So I didn't get to ride it when it was it was closed when I did go to Magic Mountain when it did operate as Green Lantern. I don't even know the status of this ride, so I think it's better than Mind Eraser just because it's a unique concept, but barely. Riddler Mindbender, I'm gonna throw it right where uh, uh where the shock where Shockwave is. Very similar rides, you're getting the intensity. Good rides. Only if, well, we still have quite a few more left. Let's try and get these done. Screaming Eagle. Hmm. 
Where are the rest of the wood coasters? Oh yeah, right there. American Eagle. Wood coaster. Eh, better than Boss a little bit, I think. Comet. Great Escape. I've heard good things about this one. We'll throw Comet at Great Escape. Eh, that sounds just about right. Yeah, Superman. Nah, not a fan. Um, Ride of Steel at, uh, you know, Darien Lake, but I'm just going to count it as the Six Flags America one, which I've ridden. Solid ride, some good air. Layout doesn't do too much. Let's throw it. Hmm. I'm debating if I actually want to put it in A tier. Probably not. Because, you know, you're getting the top rides in B tier look like all great rides, but I'll probably throw it right here. Ride of Steel is probably a better ride than Goliath at La Ronde. Hmm. What is Harley Quinn at Discovery Kingdom? It's a flat ride. I'm not even going to rank it. No reason. Well, I am going to rank it in F. Uh, I guess this is just all the 40 free flies. They're all right. I would say they're bottom of C. Again, they're more, to me, they're more of a flat ride than anything. What am I talking about? They're better than Firebird. Not good as my, my boy Skull Mountain. Not as good. Max Force at Great America. Where is Raging Bull? I just realized that. Am I just missing it? I don't think Raging Bull is on this list unless I'm missing it. If I'm missing it, I'm stupid. Yeah, well, whatever. Max Force. I've heard, you know, Max Force is short, but you know what? We're going to put it right back in the car. Maybe you're not getting the heightened speed, but you're getting that crazy, what's that, like the dog look, dog look element that you're getting. And the crazy air launch. So we'll throw that right in A tier. What else do we have? Oh, Dr. Bot, Dr. Diabol the new for 20, this is a mouthful. The new for 2022, Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger. Nailed it at Fiesta, Texas. Six Flags' first entrance into the dive coaster market. I've ridden Valraven and I've also ridden Shikra at Bush Gardens, Tampa. Solid rides. I think they're, you know, you can make the argument that they're kind of the one trick pony, but Dr. the Biobiological, it's not the massive 200 foot model. It's a little shorter, but, you know, it's a little more unique. You do have that crazy hill that I heard about at the end of the ride. We'll throw Dr. Diabolical. You know, I think dive coasters, and, dive coasters are a little better than wing, a little bit better than stand up, so we'll throw it right there. Good ride. I mean, what is this, Gold Rusher or Magic Mountain? Don't have much to say, I didn't ride it. Poltergeist to Fiesta Texas, where's Joker's Jinx? Uh, Joker's Jinx might be a tad too high, but I guess we'll just throw it there. Hmm, more Runaway Mine Trains. I wonder where these are going to go. Runaway Mountain. I heard that that one's cool. We'll throw a Runaway Mountain there. Oh, another mine train. Oh, so this is uh, Superman Ultimate Flight at Discovery Kingdom. I'm going to throw this one most likely hmm, right around here. I don't think that the Skyrockets are anything special. But, you know, they're all right. I, right in the middle of the pack. The launch is kind of fun. The uh, invert, the zero G, not the zero G roll, but the roll at the top. It's a lot of fun, especially how slow you take it. Right here, we have Mr. Freeze at St. Louis and over Texas. I heard that they're very solid rides. Probably going to go, honestly, just because they are pretty unique. Probably right in this area. Mr. Freeze clones, they look fantastic. I'll have to get on one one day. So that leaves us to just a couple more rows. Riddler's Revenge. I'm going to throw it right by Green Lantern. A little worse if you haven't ridden it, but again, interchangeable. I'm going to throw it right there. Viper at uh, Great America, a Six Flags in-house built coaster. Uh, when I learned that for the first time, I did not believe it. We're going to throw it right behind the other mess of wooden coasters. Superman at Six Flags Mexico. Uh, four and Hyper. Right, right there. Uh, probably better than Ride of Steel. Else. Oh, this is probably the toboggan at uh, Great Escape. Another uh, hand-me-down from Great Adventure, I believe. 
Um, realistically, though, probably just top of D. He does not do anything special. The Toboggan Rides are kind of overdone. Can't say much about that. What is this? Is this a boomerang? I can't see. Yeah, whatever it is, it doesn't look very smooth. That's for sure. Hmm. A wizard at Great America. I heard it's a very solid family attraction, so we'll throw it with the other family attractions. Les Monsters. Should have gotten an RMC at La Ronde. I heard that it's all right. You know, it's one of the bigger wooden coasters, so you can kind of get a thrill out of that. Oh, here we go. Here's Raging Bull. I'm going to throw it towards the bottom end of the hypers, but that doesn't make it any less of a ride. I'm going to throw it right there. Raging Bull looks like a solid hyper. A little dip, you know, it's more of a hyper twister than the out and back layout, so you're getting a little more. I personally prefer more of an out and back ride, but that's just me. I haven't ridden it, so kind of hard to place. I'm going to throw it in the A tier, though. Solid, solid hyper. So we have flash, vertical velocity. Hmm. I've ridden a couple of these. Not anything with the kind of slanted spike that Flash has. But I'm going to throw this, you know, again, right at the bottom of C tier. Doesn't really do anything special. Probably better than the 40 free flies. Again, not better than Skull Mountain. That stays. You know, like Canyon Blaster. Doesn't do anything. What is this? I don't know. I can't see. It's probably somewhere here. Demon? Ah. 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 Uh, Judge Roy Scream out over Texas again. I'll throw this here. Pandemonium. Mr. Six's Pandemonium. Isn't that what they used to be called? Tony Hawk's Big Spin or something like that when Six Flags went crazy with their IPs. Let's see. I don't know. Where are we going to throw Pandemonium? I, I actually like the Pandemoniums quite a bit. I think they're a lot of fun. La Vibora at Six Flags over Texas. Again... Right in that general area. Judge Roy Scream can go higher. I don't know why I ranked it this low. Put it right there. And then we'll put this right here. The Predator. Another ride that should get arm seed. Eh. Put it right there. Predator Dairy and Lake. All right. I heard that it's not that great. Probably better than Roar. Goliath is a little more unique. But I mean, with these, let's just put those right here. Nothing too special about any of these, it looks like. And that is it. So this is going to be my Six Flags tier maker for a lot of the major coasters in the chain. So there you go. Uh, just a reminder, this is just my list and shouldn't be anything too official. This is an official ranking. This is just my personal list. I haven't written... A lot of the rides in this list, I have ridden up most of them, probably half of them, but yeah, so this is my Six Flags tier maker. So, can we get a better shot of this? I think we can. I don't want to download. Pres presentation mode, that's it. There we go. And then let's zoom back. No, we're not going to zoom. All right. Well, this is my tier list for all these Six Flags roller coasters on this list. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, a comment, and maybe consider scribing. Cons scribing. And maybe consider subscribing. We'll see you next time here on Great Adventure Geek.